How's it going, everybody? I'm Slavin Torsky, and welcome to the channel. So we have more Joy Toy goodness today. We got in the new Black Templars in. So we're going to start off with Marshall Baldegraff. I hope I pronounced that right. Baldegraff. But if you guys like seeing these kind of things and you want to get more idea of what's coming out, because every time I get one of these, I try to show it on the channel, but mainly because I want to see... I want to show it so if you guys want one of these and you're curious what it looks like up close watch the video and you get an idea what you're getting into so of course subscribe if you like that like if you found this video useful and let's talk below so that's the box let's go ahead and open it up get right in all right so when you open it that's everything i'm gonna put the box back on the spinner all right, so uh, you do have the cape, which comes in behind everything else. And this is Marshall Baldograph himself. Let's go ahead and open this package up. Sorry about the noise, plastic. All right, so as always, you get a snack pack, you get the figure itself. A really cool backpack, alternate head, which I'm absolutely using that head, a sword which came out by itself, it's like a plasma pistol, you have some chains, and then you have, <laughs> all right, multiple hand options here. So you come with the typical two finger pointing left hand, relaxed left hand, fisticuffs left hand, and trigger right hand. What is currently equipped are two standard grippy hands, one left, one right. So I may end up using the trigger hand since it comes with a plasma weapon. But we'll see how we want to do this. So let's get the plastic out of the way. And first off, everybody wants to see this head sculpt. This is the reason I got them. This head sculpt is really, really good. There we go. Wanted to get a little bit extra light on it. Awesome, awesome head sculpt. You can barely see the eyes. I like that that really goes down into the cheeks there. Really sculpted out. And from what I can tell, I don't believe he's cross-eyed, so that's pretty good. Uh, then we have the chains. We'll get to those. Grippy hand. You have the Plasma pistol. It almost looks like a revolver. I think I have a Nerf gun that looks kind of like this. You, <laughs> I feel like that piece would spin, but it doesn't. But really good paint app on this. I like the black wash, too. His sword, which looks amazing. And then this incredibly detailed backpack here. Uh, now this piece comes off, so you have the regular backpack. You have the little exhaust jets here, more exhaust jets here and here. They do articulate, good color scheme, but this is really cool. So you have a skeleton that looks like it's been put in chains and in a stock with the Black Tembars logo right on the forehead. And you do have a ribbon that comes out, so you have Black Templar's logo, a skull, a battle axe, Imperium of Man Eagle and some more on the other side. And it does just pop right on top, just like that. Actually, <laughs> like that. Because you want this part to go into his back. So let's look at the figure. Let me lower this a little bit. There we go. Now one thing I like is this white is not super white. Like this is seen somewhere, it's a little off-white. It's been worn for a while. It looks dirty. I like that. Really good logo on there. Uh, that pauldron is somewhat loose, but that's probably a good thing. Yeah, because you can get a lot better articulation here. You have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, and that arm does go all the way around. There's like his little ratchets in there too. Uh, as far as the hand, it is on a barbell joint. 
Same with this hand, although that's a unique pauldron. I really like that. Look at that. Looks good. Paint apps on it pretty, pretty good too. I like how it's dirty. Even on the back, you have some wear. Looks like it's been worn for a while. It's dirty. That might be washed out blood. Like, that looks really good. And that is a soft piece that's on there. It looks like it goes all the way around. And I think it attaches to the belt. Either it attaches to the belt or it's just super tight. Not 100%. But I'm not taking that off. I like that tabard. And if you look at the belt, I like that it's lined up with a bunch of little skulls. And then you come down to the legs. You can do a pretty good split. I didn't show the trunk. You can rotate a little bit, but the tabard does kind of limit it. Uh, you can get a little bit of... Not much, but a little bit of torso flexation there. But again, the tabard does limit him. So keep that in mind. And of course the head goes all the way around. Back and forth. Side to side. You can do everything you want with the head. And I think that actually, that looks like that pops off. But I don't want to just in case. That might be glued in there, so don't try to pop that off, just in case. If you know better, let me know in the comment section if that is removable. It looks good there either way. So, while I'm at it, let me just pop that head off. So it pops right off, it comes with its own little barbell joint. And I know that Space Marines should always fight with their helmets on or else they're gonna get domed, but I like them all to look a little bit unique, unless I'm army building. Then I want them all to have their helmets on. Looks great with this helmet. Well, with this head, I should say. So it is a little bit smaller. Honestly, the Space Marine skull here, or the helmet, should be a little bigger so his head would fit inside of it, but I'm not complaining. They look good either way. Back to the legs. Uh, you see it's a little bit different on the armor here. You got this nice accentuation on the back here uh, that is on both sides we already showed the split you do go pretty far because this is flexible so you can kick that out of the way and it goes somewhat back this back part is kind of hard back here it's a little bit flexible but not enough but that's fine they're big and bulky they don't need to be that flexible you have an upper thigh rotation right there So that will go all the way around either way. Just be careful you don't pop out those sockets in the middle here. Now you have a double knee joint. And as you can see there, those little armor pieces do pop off the belt. Double knee joint, but it's got that ugly knee in there. So I never really bend it too far. I love these little rivets on the leg armor. They look great. Uh, the foot, side to side, back and forth, toe on the bottom looks like i have a good a left and a right foot here so we're good to go that is a concern sometimes joy toys qc is a little off but i think what it is is that they make so many of these that it seems like their qc is off often but if you look at it this way if they make 10 million units versus a toy company that makes a hundred thousand units they both have a 5% QC issue of items coming out with problems with the quality control. Obviously the one that makes 10 million is gonna have more issues. Not that I'm trying to justify it or defend them, but that's kind of a logical way of looking at it. So let's go ahead, actually let's get the sword in his hand. I think I'm gonna make him just a sword wielder. And nice thing is these hands are back to being <laughs> somewhat soft so they do pop off pretty easy and the fingers are a little bit more flexible so let's get that sword in that hand i know everybody's probably screeching at me right now but yeah, get in there get in his hand it's okay you can do it i believe in you there we go now let's see if you can get a two-handed grip on this sword. I do believe you can. Let me warm it up for a second. 
Gotta love that smell of plastic. And, why, well, yes, you can. So you can have him salute with the sword. I think that's actually the pose I'm going to have him take. That looks really smexy. Have him kind of stand out a little bit. Look like he's getting ready to throw down. And one thing with these, um, the weapons do... With the Black Templars, they do chain their weapons to their hands, so they're never without their weapon. Even though in some of the lore I've read and listened to, they constantly get those chains broken. But hey, <laughs> what can you do? Uh, let's see here. So, this. So this is how the plasma pistol would stay attached to his hand. And in order to get this on, it's very simple, in fact. You're just going to pop that around his wrist, right here. Where'd his hand go? Oh, it's still attached to the sword. That makes sense. And there we go. And since it is stretchy, I think you can get that around it. Now, let me just check the sword. And it does not come apart, so you're probably going to have to loop it through here. Luckily, this is pliable, that you can kind of get it to work. Just take it easy with it. Don't force it. There we go. So now, if in battle, if he gets disarmed, this sword stays attached. A lot of police units actually do that with their guns. You'll see that some of the guns have like a little lanyard or something on them. Same concept, except this is a more uh, grim, dark, and badass. <laughs> Alright, so let's get that back on his hand here. Go on, you can hold it. It's okay. I always have a hard time with figures getting them to hold weapons like this, mainly because I have very large hands, they have very little hands, those two don't like to work together well. There we go. And I know I keep saying this in my videos, but if you don't have a pair of these, you really should. A little pack of these. Anti-static tweezers. You can get them off Amazon for like $10, $15. They're plastic. And if you have fat fingers like I do, they make it so it's a lot easier to work with figures without breaking them, scratching the paint, or things like that. And then let's complete it with the backpack. Whew, that is snug. Backpack's on. We're all together. Let's get him in some closed stamps. There we go. We now have Marshall Baldograd. He looks amazing, honestly. And that's even without a cape. Let's put that cape on real quick. I like I forget things. I'm really bad about that. It frustrates me. I'm taking uh, supplements to help with that. I should probably start doing crosswords and things. Alright, so to put on the cape, very simple. Which way looks better? I think this way is probably more natural. I think red is out. Yep, red's out by the box. So we'll just get that picked up there. There we go. Push that back on. There we go. Now we're looking really good. The figure just looks amazing like this. Um, I'm glad they started bringing out the Black Templars to look a little unique. I know a lot of the figures that they do are very uh, 
cut and paste. It's the same figure, just a different paint scheme to be a different sect. But I like that they're starting to make these look unique in their own way. Because the Black Templars are savage. They're awesome. Definitely need to see more of them. So let's go ahead and put this Black Templar up against an Ultramarine. So you can see kind of how he looks in pairs there. We'll put him up against an Imperial Fist Captain. So you can see what's going on there. And his cape doesn't want to sit right. There we go. Fixed it. All right. So you see how he looks against that Imperial Fist Captain. And then we'll get the Ultramarine back. And if you want to put him up against the Orc, he pairs pretty well with the Orc. I'd say he kind of looks a little scarier than the Orc, in all honesty. But all in all, all of these new Black Templars figures are amazing. Uh, if you don't get your, a chance to get your hands on him, or you can only afford one, I would say at least go for him, because he is awesome. It's a really good figure. Actually, let's get the box out of here. It's a really good figure. And it kind of complements everything well. You don't have to be the biggest Black Templars fan to really appreciate him. But you can at least appreciate the sculpt because it is really, really good. Sorry, playing with the camera so you guys can get a better view. But uh, I really like this figure. I hope you guys do as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Which is your favorite of that Black Templar trio? I want to hear about it and what your opinion is. All right, guys. Well, I've taken up enough of your time, so I'm going to let you go. And as usual, keep pushing forward. Don't give up. Stay on task. And don't let life get you down. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to any future content I have coming. As usual, a like is always super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Share this video with any of your friends or groups that you think may enjoy it. And let's talk down in the comments section. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you would like to interact more with the channel, you can find me at my socials on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I post any contest entries and reference codes for contests that I enter on Twitter, so that's another reason to check it out. I also have a TikTok account I created where I upload tease videos for upcoming YouTube videos as well as shorts. I am also getting back into gaming content on the Xbox Series X, and I'm looking to start doing streams again on Twitch, which I'll upload to YouTube later. Thanks again for stopping by, and I hope to see you again next time.